Hey there, I've got a question for you. Would you rather pay eight bucks for a four inch pot at a nursery of your favorite plant or have an unlimited supply for free? I know what my answer is. Stay tuned and let's talk more. Welcome to Around the House with Scott, where it's my passion to give you tips, tricks, and hacks for living better inside, outside, and all around the house. Today, we're outside in the garden, one of my favorite places. It's overcast, it's a fall day, and I'm super excited to have found little starts of my favorite geranium manorants here in the garden. Now, these plants cost up to eight to nine dollars for a four inch pot at the nursery, but because they're annuals, they recede. And what that means is they send out little baby spores and seeds and eventually they germinate in the ground and I can pick them up and make my own little pots out of them. Before we continue, be sure to hit the like button below, subscribe, share with your friends, and of course, give me comments how I can increase the likability of these videos to you. So let's move on. The geranium matarance is in the geranium family. It's an annual. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you'll see one episode where I talk about this being a favorite plant because it gets these beautiful giant purple flowers. But because it's an annual, as I mentioned, it's gonna die at the end of its season. But as mentioned, it recedes, and I've taken and bought for nine bucks a package of 24 of these little, I call them peat pots. You'll plant these right in the ground. And I have to tell you, it took me about 30 minutes to dig up the little starts of these guys. A bag of potting sold for six bucks, and I'm set to go for the next season. I'm so excited to share that with you. So here is my little incubator area, if you will. I got down on my hands and knees early in the week and I just kind of dug up the geranium matarant starts. As mentioned before, put a little dollop of potting soil in here and I've got a plantable pot that is ready to go when I want to plant these in the ground. Now, if I want to keep these a little longer, I can go ahead and transplant them to a four inch pot if I want and keep them you know, for up to several months. I've had these for about six months in some cases here in Southern California, we don't have to worry about greenhouses or anything like that. But think of the value here. This is a part of the 24 that I got, again, for $9 at my local nursery, these little pots. So let's see, nine and six for the potting soil is 15 bucks. And I've got 24 plants. Wow, let's see, 24 times eight is gonna be $200-ish. So my goodness, look at the money that I've saved. And I did something myself. It's not that difficult at all. Something you can do at home too. Again, so with your annual plants, you wanna watch to see if they recede. We're gonna show you kind of how they've receded in my garden already here. And the interesting thing is, yes, my garden's kind of ready for a redo, so there's a little more bare dirt than I would like, but it did create the perfect spot for these little mini geranium matarants to sprout up and be my future staples of the garden for next season. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you got value out of today's episode. My goal is always is to share my passion for life around the house. And in today's episode, we saved you money and it's a very easy way to do that. Here's a bonus tip too. I love milkweed. It's a host plant for caterpillars and monarch butterflies are soon to come after this. This is also an annual and I'm just ready to do the same thing I did with the Janier Matarants with these guys. And you know how much these cost at the nursery? nine to ten dollars for a gallon plant craziness and before we close out i'm going to show you where they're sprouting in the pot where they're actually growing so that's an easy one i had the milkweed in a pot i don't even have to worry about having bare dirt for it they just reseeded right where they were one of my joys in life is spending time in my garden it is so calming it's my happy place and today especially this video is so dear to my heart because I get to help people like you realize how little it can cost to increase the beauty of your garden. So I hope you liked today's episode.